at the Aldi dumpster. There's got to be something here. I know it. I put in an order for the universe to fill my shopping basket. My giant green shopping basket behind me. Let's go see if we have anything. Things. I see many things. Okay. I love the ravioli. I also love really firm avocados. Sausage and tenderloin. Down dozen of eggs. Let's keep that upside down. <laughs> Frugal Mommy will explain it when I get home. That's funny. These are the terracotta candles. I saw a couple of boxes over here. 
thought that was empty. Oh, it's a surprise. Definitely trying to, it's like an M&M &M moon pie or something. Definitely going to try and bring those back to life. Let's see. There's nobody has their lid on. I guess there wasn't a lid. It would be like a six pack or something. Meat box.
almost went. That would have been a disaster. All right, them Strinos and Frugalistas, Frugal Daddy was out in the middle of the night, as you saw. Yay, didn't get caught, worked it hard, got a lot of good finds out of that Aldi dumpster, so let's take a look. We've got more potatoes, red potatoes, golden potatoes. Our potted plants are so lovely this year, and we have not bought a single one of them. We have, what, about seven now, I think, that you've pulled out of dumpsters? Possibly. This I, is the most recent one with the broken pot. I was going to say, I think we have seven, but I think we actually have nine. Because we have the five New Guinea impatience, two regular impatience, and then those two that were kind of dumped sideways that I'm kind of replotted. I replotted them. Replowing them. It was planting and potting at the same oh. time. Plotting. I replotted them, and, well, I'll show you. One sec. Those are the most recent ones that kind of tip sideways. So I got them back in their dirt and gave them some water. I think, you know, we have some death there, but I think we've got enough that it'll come back. And look at that one. That's a dumpster impatient. Look at that. Frugal Daddy, you wanted me to give you the daily update on the sunflower. Look at her go. I need to watch some videos on how to harvest sunflower seeds because that's the point of these sunflowers. This is this tiny little garden bed I made right outside the back door that Frugal Daddy said, don't do that. And I said, go away, go away. I piled these bricks up to make a little faux wall. I need to bring more over. And then I dumped a bunch of dirt back there. And I've got the sunflowers growing and peas. Pea plants, pea plants. I mean, you know, what can I... got to use the space you have. And then we got this old trellis. Trellis from somebody's trash and I thought oh that's perfect for the little peas to grow on and to give the sunflowers some strength so but this one started its life journey way earlier than the other one so she's the leader she's the queen we've got apples apples oh you know what I was going to say about the potatoes I'm going to dehydrate some I'm going to start the big potato dehydration project of 2022 lots of containers of very, very broken eggs. These are all the good ones. We sorted, we washed, we counted, and all together we have, I don't know, three dozen plus another seven. There are D6 plus seven is 43. You sure? No, but yes, but no, yes. 37 and six? 36 plus seven. Oh, 36 plus seven, okay. But 37 plus six would be the same answer. Oh. We have these little pastry crisp bars. They have something new to me. I've never had these before. Uh, they will go right up in the prepper pantry storage boxes. We've got a broccoli. I'm going to dehydrate that. Peppers, some garlic, one wee little tomato. We've got the countryside creamery, homestyle spread. Look, safety seal. Still in. Ugh. Tack. So we do buy butter because we're really butter eating people. And I was at the store the other day and butter went up so much in price. I said, sorry, not buying it. We're going back to margarine. Sorry, I know it's terrible for you, but uh, what's affordable is affordable. And now we got this one for free. So there you go. Isn't that kind of funny? Hey, these are falling all over the food. I think they're magnolia seeds. I don't know. Wow, that would be so cool. They're falling out of the... The magnolia tree. Yeah. We have an organic berry acai bowl, granola, strawberries, blueberries, and then it has like the little granola topping thing that obviously broke, but inside the bowl should be okay. And we have some of your homemade granola we can put in it. 
We have got eight yogurts, eight vanilla protein yogurts. Yagret. Yagret. Uh, raspberries? Raspberries. Raspberry. Raspberry. Framboise. Oh, uh -huh. In Quebec, we said framboise. You can tell what those grapes are. Someone picked those, brought them up to the counter, and when it rang up, it said $14, and they think, no way. And they just put them down. More grapes. Four of the six applesauces. Avocado. Oh, that's pretty firm. Very firm. Hamburger buns and hot dog buns. June 21st is the date there. June 18th. That's 10 days from now. I know, it's hard to see the date. because Oh, there we go. June 18th for the hamburger buns. So they're not thrown away because they're close to their Best Buy date. Ooh, brioche bagels. Their Best Buy date is 6.15. Brioche, I love brioche. Ooh, pita bread, I love pita bread too. Ooh, pita bread. I used to make homemade pita all the time. Did you know that mm -hmm. before I met you? No. Um, I need my pizza stone for that. Oh. You put the pizza stone at the very bottom of the oven and the oven has to be at 500 degrees and the pita bakes in like five minutes. Like a couple minutes one side, you flip it, a couple minutes the other, it puffs up, it makes the pocket. It's a miracle. Mm -hmm. I should try that again. We've got chocolate frosted donuts, six, seven, date. That's a few days ago, so that's why they got rid of those. You better not eat those. They've gone bad. All right. We had our box of pork egg rolls. There's egg goo on a lot of things from the, from the eggs. There's broken egg goo on everything, so that's why all these packages look disgusting. But anyway, there are the egg rolls. They look fine. Two packages of cheese ravioli. Cauliflower crust pizza. Oh, look, the universe does want you to go keto again. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Look at look that. Look at that. That looks pretty fresh. It tried to hide from me this morning when I went into the green dumpster. Uh, it looked like that, and I thought it was empty, and I moved it out of the way and thought, there's some wheat for that. And he was hiding. Sneaky. And I flipped them over. But look, the meat's not gray or anything. I know. We should flip them all over. That's from the sun, I guess. We've got some salad. Salad. Why am I making a shadow? Got, we've got two salads. We have two sweet Italians. What do you guys like better, the hot Italian or the sweet Italian? I'm going to go with sweet. That would be my choice. Yep, frugal daddy likes some sweet. Look, look, I say. $7.77. Country style pork ribs. User freeze by six twenty-five, dollars And we're going to grill those today. Yeah. And put them on hot dog buns and have them with salad and yogurt and donuts. Ooh, teriyaki flavor, pork tenderloin. Ooh, we're going Japonaise. We could make, um, what could we make? We could make, what could we make that's Japanese? I was going to say stir fry, but that doesn't sound right. That sounds like Chinese. Maybe a pork tenderloin. We could make a pork tenderloin with this. Well, you could put rice on it or something. Yeah, yeah. Or noodles. Um, yeah. Soba noodles. Oh, I yeah. spit when I said that. I got so excited. And the most exciting thing for meat lovers in this age of chicken that's too expensive to buy. Um, Ten pounds of chicken leg quarters that never had antibiotics. Ever. They suffered through their illnesses and they healed without antibiotics. Got to give those chickens a round of applause so look at the meat and meat byproducts do you think we could slice this very thinly and then make it like bacon almost no because it's a different kind of meat i'm sure but it's nothing could, like could bacon. we slice it that thinly no you're gonna ruin it stop thinking okay this oh. is pretty cool frugal daddy Speaking of these, you have to back up. I found, I'm gonna pull this down. Just back backwards and I'm gonna show you what I'm about to show you. All right, I'm Frugal Daddy them. wants to show you these little pistols and stamen things coming out of the magnolia flowers. Look at the size of that flower on that tree. Oh my gosh, look at those things. Oh, oh Daddy. I, God, but I'm still fixated on how beautiful that flower is. I tripped. But you're gonna, on a root. <laughs> I tripped on a root. We're planting seeds on the top of your head. I'm glad I didn't get it in my eye. God, that's so pretty, though. I know. You never really get to see them because they're so high up in the tree. And at a distance, you just, you don't see the beauty and splendor of it all. Mm-hmm.
Oh gosh. Do I have one in my ear? No, that's just a spider building a nest. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching Dumpsterinos and Frugalistas. I hope you enjoyed this dumpster dive and haul. We sure did. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna get to cleaning up and processing food and storing and saving and cooking. Yay! And we hope you guys have a great weekend. Mm -hmm or week or life whenever you watch this mm -hmm. watch it over again and over and over because it was so fun yep. and we'll see you again soon won't we yes we will yes we will love you dumpsterinos take care